Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for all of the love and support you have been giving me on the last few videos. I've been trying to be a lot more consistent, so I hope you guys have been enjoying that. I've also been trying to be intentional about giving you guys the videos that you are asking for. Make sure you guys keep telling me what you wanna see and all of that good stuff. Without further ado, actually no. You guys know what I'm gonna say. If you're not already subscribed, pause this video and press subscribe down below. Also hit the bell notifications link so you guys know when I'm posting a new video. Don't really have a schedule, but we've been kind of consistent, so let's just stick to that. But make sure you guys hit the notifications link so you know when something new is coming up. Without further ado, um, this is a fairly like quick-ish type of video. Um, I have been getting questions on questions about these braids. So I wanted to make a little quick video so you guys can really see them and um, I can answer the most common questions that I've been getting about these amazing braids, these really extra amazing braids that I have. A lot of you guys probably already know if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you should probably slide over and do that. My braids are done by a girl named Adria. She lives in the Frisco area here in Dallas. So she's a little ways out there, but when I tell you it's so worth it, like she is amazing. This is my fifth-ish time going to her for my braids. So pretty much for the whole year of, what year is this, 2020. So the whole year of 2019 is she's who I went to to get my braids done. I've gotten blonde, I've gotten shorter black ones and she's always the one that does them. These are her knotless minis and I have the, I guess it's further down than my knee. I guess I'll stand up. So if I come back a little bit, you can see they're like to my knee. I'm short too, though. So. I love them. So a little bit of, I work with Adria, so like we collab on different things and oftentimes I'll sit in the chair and I tell her like, okay, you do what you want to do, totally fine, I don't care, like we're working together, I'm showcasing her work, so I just let her do her. Well, I sit down in the chair and she's like halfway done with my hair because these braids are so light, I never really know how far she is, so it has to be like a good amount of hours for me to be like, okay, where are we at? Or if I have to go to the bathroom or something. But I sat in the chair and I just sit there and I start working, I get on my computer, I watch Netflix, I do all this stuff. So the first time I like, I'm like, okay, I have to go to the bathroom. She swings the hair around me and it's like touching the ground. And I was like, are you serious? So I never even asked her for these, but she always does what she does. And at first I'm like very conservative when it comes to my hair. So I don't really do too much like on the risky side as far as colors and doing all that kind of stuff. I'm kind of just like classic. So when she showed me, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I about to do with these braids? But now it's been over a month and I'm like obsessed with them. I'm so glad that she did these. A little bit about them. So they are the Knotless Minis. Um, if you guys click down below, I will link her website and she has all of her pricing. She has like the description of her services. She has the hair, so you don't have to go buy the packs of hair before you go to her. All different colors, whatever you want. She has all the different packages on her site. You can pick the length, the color, you know, any type of add-on services so she can wash and trim ends and do all that other stuff as well, which is very rare to find these days. A lot of hairstylists don't do that. Yeah, these are the minis they took. Okay, they took 16 hours. Yes, a very, very long time. That is like two work shifts. I have a lot of hair. My hair is very thick and coarse and it takes a lot to tame, but it's only because of how long they were and how small I like mine. Like I like them many, 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 like small. So yes, they did take a good amount of time, um, but that's because of the length and the size and she just is very much so a perfectionist. So every part is the exact same, like size and everything and like she has to like, count how many braids are on this side to make it like symmetrical and all this stuff. She's a perfectionist, but it does take a long time. But when I tell you it's so worth it, like she's amazing. A few of the questions I was getting was of course the main one is, is it, are they heavy? They are not heavy at all. So these are knotless, um, which automatically takes a lot of weight off of them. And she only used three packs of hair. So if you guys can see, like I have really, really long braids and a lot of hair. And before when I used to go get box braids, and I'm sure any of you guys can attest to this, they tell you to bring like eight, nine packs of hair and you have that in your hair. And like, not only is it like bulky, but they're too tight. You can't sleep on your head the first night cause they're like too tight and you're 
I leave with you look like look like you have Botox, all that kind of stuff, just because of how tight they are um, and how heavy everything is. And this is the exact opposite. Like I walk out of there and I'm able to like put my hair in ponytails and do all this stuff. My edges are extremely weak and I have not lost any going to her since I've been going to her. My hair has actually grown ridiculously. They're not heavy at all. I don't feel any pulling. Even when I first left there, like I can put hats on top of my braids. Like who can do that? Who else can you put hat, a hat on top of long, thick braids like this? Like you can't. Another question is like, how do you work out with them? How do you sleep and all that kind of stuff? And really when I sleep, I just tie a scarf on. Um, some nights I'll just let them hang and then just pull them to the side while I sleep. And some nights I'll wrap it in a bun and then put like something on to hold it on the top of my head cause it's not heavy. So it's like, it's not heavy. So it doesn't feel like anything. It just feels like a bun on top of my head. When I work out, it is a little bit difficult when I work out because I just wear a ponytail. If I were to wear a different style, I think it would be a bit easier, but I just let them hang. So when I'm doing like crunches and like all this stuff, they are on the ground, but I'm just not finicky about stuff like that. So I don't really care. When I go to the bathroom and things, I have to like hold them and like put them to the side or like swing them in front of me just because I'm really paranoid about like getting my hair on the toilet. And then showering the same thing, I put them in a bun. Cooper thought that they were like a toy for a second. So like when I first came home, he was like, what is this thing she's like dangling down and would always try to like play with them and grab them and do all this stuff. But now he's like, he knows it's my hair. If you guys are in the Dallas area or really anywhere, cause she has clients like flying to her to get their hair done. You will not regret it. Like she takes her time. She's a perfectionist. You will be bomb. You will not want to take them out and you will never go to anybody else to get your hair braided. Like this is, over a month and they still look like I just got them done like last week. Like they're perfect. Marka, my manager, pretty much everybody now has been going to her and they're great. So I hope I answered the majority of you guys' questions. If you have additional questions, um, reach out to her on Instagram. I'm gonna put her website down below. And then I'll also show you guys some of the other pictures and things that she's done. I just love these braids so much. So I wanted to answer all the questions. Yes, my braids are long, but they're not like ridiculous or like you just unmanageable. They are bomb, they are long. Yes, you have to adjust. But I feel like with any hairstyle as a black woman, different things you gotta do. Like when I get my half up, half down style, styles, I can't like go extra, extra hard in the gym or do a bunch of cardio because I'll sweat my edges out. Stay tuned for the other videos. If you guys have additional questions, drop them down in the comments below. Either I will answer them or I'll direct them to her for her to answer. Um, I love you guys. Peace out.